Hey guys, Future Man 19 here. Today marks the seventh year of the anniversary of 923, where the great sign of the woman clothed with the sun was fulfilled on September 23rd in 2017. The prophecy that was found in the book of Revelation from the Bible, where also, coincidentally, a particle coming from a black hole in space, some six billion light years away, was sent to Earth to fall directly in the Ice Cube Neutrino Facility in Antarctica that was coincidentally built just a few years prior. Now, depending what time zone you were in at the time, this could have landed on the date 922 or 923, which is why, coincidentally, the show Lost also premiered on September 22nd, which told the future story of the MH 370 flight disappearing above the ocean off the coast of Australia, which coincidentally MH370 also had 239 passengers on board, which is also September 23rd if you are not from the United States because the U.S. does the month first, then the day following after. And if you have watched my older videos, you would find many more references as to why the date or number 923 is so important. Anyways, I think you guys get my point. Nothing is actually a coincidence. People only believe in coincidences because they are not aware of pattern recognition. When you are aware of patterns, you would realize that if 1,000 so-called coincidences are pointing at the same thing, then that is probably the answer. Now, I have been preaching and testifying, even prophesying, for the past seven years of what was to come. So far, I have been more right than wrong in my predictions. I warned you about the pandemic years before it began. I warned you about the vaccines before they even were out. I have warned you about artificial intelligence before it became big. And I have warned you about Trump, which we will soon find out if I am right about him. But honestly, guys, I am pretty content with my life right now and have begun focusing on different things. I have done all that I could to warn people. I have been the watcher on the wall for seven years. I have even stood on corners with signs and tried to warn people. I have done all for my vineyard, so to speak. I have not buried my talents like so many others. I have essentially washed my hands and rinsed my garments of the multitude who have not heeded my warnings. I am actually glad that this is the seventh year and the last year of tribulation, because it has been a bumpy ride and I am ready for the next chapter. So what is the next chapter for me? Well, there is a new date that is coming up, which I believe will be significant. The date is October 9th. There will be a new sign in the heavens on that date. I do not have time to go over it in full detail, but from my research, this is the new 923, which a lot more prophecies will be fulfilled on this date, like the four horsemen and the silence in the heavens. I'm sorry that this is going to be a short video. And I'm sorry that I didn't do a live session like I planned and said I was going to do but I had to do other things important in my life. So anyways, guys, watch for October 9th. Look up to the heavens then. Pray always. I shall be teaching more of the Enlightenment lessons coming up, so keep subscribing and keep following me. I will teach you more of the deep doctrines and how to heal and how to pray effectively and how you can witness miracles more in your everyday lives. Anyways, guys, love you all. Stay safe. Put on the full armor of God. And pray always. Talk to you later.